Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. If you're new, I'm so happy to see you here. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind this will be a general love reading and some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Anything that you may need, all the links are in the description box below. You can become a member of my channel. You can also request personal readings from me. Okay, so glad to have you here and let's get on with your reading. All right, Virgo. Unfortunately, my purple light, except for this one, has died. So we're going to go without purple lights today. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, let's get into this reading, Virgo, and see what the messages are for you guys going forward to the month of June. I cannot even believe it is June already. Okay, so, wow, you have ascending again. I feel like you had that yesterday. Trans, transcending obstacles again. Great, Virgo. So you're still on that, that vibe. So that's cool. Still on the same vibe. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. And you have, oh, self-indulgence. Nice, Virgo. Okay, focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, entering a new phase in your life. Oops, sorry for the glare. Let's see what else. And you have, oh, you have not today. It fell in reverse. So it's a maybe. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Virgo's like, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Virgo, I feel like going forward into this summer, it's like... Because the not today card in the upright, as you can see, it's like, I don't know, you don't want to talk to somebody, you're not dealing, feeling hurt, um, avoiding a conversation call or a person, setting boundaries, could even still be angry. But in the reverse, it's kind of like, well, I'm not really so angry anymore. I don't really give a F. Um, I'm not really avoiding anyone, but I'm not really reaching out. I'm not dealing and I'm not not dealing. I'm getting past the hurt. So I'm just kind of like, eh. It's whatever, you know, you're, you're focusing on yourself. And I feel like the more you indulge in yourself and your goals, the things you want to do, your dreams, whatever, um, you tend to really not care because you're distracted by what you're doing. And I kind of feel like that's what's happening here. Like, <clears throat> the more you try to avoid something, it's a sign that it's because that thing is so important to you and you can't deal with it right? But when you stop avoiding people, places, and things, it's it's not because you can deal with it. It's just because you're not focused on it anymore. So, you know, what you give your attention to is where all your energy goes. And that can be in any direction. The more attention you give to what you're not getting, the more of not getting it you will get. So when you attend to the things that you know you can attain, the more of that you will have. Okay, so I kind of feel like that's your energy um, going into June now. You're not really like, meh. you know, I, I, I'm just seeing like plain vanilla ice cream and then I'm seeing a banana split sundae. And it's kind of like you're not opposed to the vanilla ice cream over here, but you see this, you see this banana split and it's like, you know, that just looks a lot better. I'm going to focus on that. You're not saying no to the vanilla cone. You're just kind of like, take it or leave it, you know, it's whatever, but there's something better over here. You know what I mean? So I guess I could have just given you that analogy. Okay, you're not opposed <laughs> to the vanilla cone, but you sure do prefer that banana split. And that banana split is you and what you have going on in your life. Okay, let me see what your romance angels, what the romance angels have for you here. Okay, so there's deception, finances and career, and letting your friends help you. Okay, Virgo, so yeah, some kind of false mask that someone was wearing in a relationship. You're, you're just, you're not like, you're like, it's whatever. Wear your false mask. That's, that's what you want to wear. Go ahead and wear it. Um, you want to be deceptive? Go ahead and be deceptive. I'm, yeah, I'm eating my banana split right now, and I really don't care if your ice cream melts all over your table or your lap, right? I'm focusing on my finances and career. This is what's more important. Factors into my love life seems to take a priority, and asking for help and support from other people in those areas. So I guess maybe you just, 
I don't know, maybe right now or just in the month of June, you're not really focusing on love so much, Virgo, which, you know, hey, do what you got to do, even though the lover's here at the bottom. And this is a card of a decision. So, Virgo, you could be, yeah, um, Virgo, there is, look at this, this is craziness. There is a desire um, for a risk to take a take a leap of faith, try to heal a past relationship. A lot of passion and fire and excitement connected to that and trying to open up and make a decision. But um, whether or not to get into a relationship with someone or if someone else is going to take a risk with you or just, you know, kind of have that new beginning here with the Ace of Wands or just destroy it and be done with it. But I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like, just leaving it up in the air, leaving it to God, just surrendering. It's like, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You have this time to yourself here to do what you need to do for yourself. So that's really great. Okay. So Virgo, I mean, this is a love reading, but look, you've got a new um, opportunity coming to you in June. Okay. Now this Ace of Pentacles can be a financial opportunity. It could be a new job, a raise, promotion, investment, or new income. Okay, um, so like I said, wherever you're putting your energy, that's what's going to get the most attention, and that will give you more results, right? Anything that you're focused on and you're being consistent, self disciplined with, and doing it every day, that's going to that thing is going to produce results, whether they're you know coming quick or just slow, they're going to come if you neglect it nothing's going to happen, right? So I feel like because you're focusing more on your gains and whatever that means for you, um, financial gains, uh, tangible gains in your life, the opportunity is going to come, okay? So you might be getting some money coming to you or there's some kind of like somebody pays you a big, you get paid a lot of money or a bonus or something. Maybe you get like a big check coming in, a rebate, a refund, someone invests, in a business or some kind of investment opportunity um, that you have available or you somehow have the money to make some kind of huge investment and there's a payout or you get like um, some kind of promotion okay let's see I don't know why this this is a love rating but let's we'll have to see I mean the Pentacles look <laughs> Look, the page of Pentacles, Virgo. There's definitely something coming by the by way of direct deposit in the mail, um, maybe through like an app. Big amount of money coming to you, okay? And I feel like you're gonna get it, <laughs> Virgo. And just like, ooh, ah, what is this? <gasps> Look at all this. Is this real? Is this real life? Did I really just get this big payout? Yeah, Virgo. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, let me see. What else is going on? So there will be also some communication. There could be like um, a notification or some kind of communication. Kind of let you know, hey, we're sending something to you. Or you're going to, yeah, we're going to close this deal with you. Yeah, we're going to give you a down payment. Or, you know, you're definitely getting this money. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. All right. You've got judgment. You got change. Okay. Well, there's definitely a big reveal coming here for you that's going to allow you to take action in your life or make some changes. For some of you, this is like, hey, you won a new car. <laughs> Virgo, like it's something huge coming. Some of you, it could be a car. You get that, you get that um, money to buy a car, a, a nice one. Maybe even have a driver. You get some kind of money um, down payment to take a trip um, or to go on some kind of journey. But whatever, whatever you're in right now, whatever vehicle you're in, whatever's going on, whatever situation or place that you are in at this time, the chariot is a big fat yes with judgment um, that things are going to start opening up for you. Um, the clouds are going to part, the seas are going to part, the sun's going to come in, there's going to be triumph, and you're going to be able to take some kind of offer and do some kind of something to change your life in some way in a material way it's a material way so it's kind of like a material wish of some sort maybe there's a judgment that comes in that um, it's in your favor some of you are going through divorce some of you want that 
you want the Lamborghini <laughs> you're gonna get it you want the car you're gonna get the car it's it's kind of like that energy you know what like, give me just a second here um this is also yeah it's clarity but it's like a final decision like I feel like money or some kind of financial reward is going to come in that's going to be the deal breaker for you you know um, some of you have been pondering some ideas or things that you wanted to do but not really able to do it because you haven't had the finances well that's going to change okay so we've got the moon sideways so definitely some clarity and i feel like this reveal is going to come slow for sure like i said um, it's definitely going to come at night or you're going to wake up the next morning check your email you're going to find something in your email that says hey you're getting some kind of money it could be like an inheritance or some kind of payout or you get the job that kind of thing why isn't this a love reading <laughs> I feel like because it's just you focusing on yourself, buying yourself some nice things even, you know, saving money and taking that payout and being able to do what you want with it. Let me see. Show, look at all this major arcana. Show me more with the moon. I don't know. I mean, you're investing in something. Okay. Oh, so you do have someone returning from your past as well. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces for Major Arcana. So, could be a water sign. Let me see what's going on here. Because um, that moon, hmm. You know, it was sideways. So somebody's slowly coming back. That's what I hear. Maybe they find out you get all this money. I know, like you're in the scratch offs, you know, and then you hit it big and you tell, and somebody finds out and they're like, oh, hey, long time no see. Heard you hit big. You want to be friends? <laughs> Something, some of you just get that new car and you're like driving down somebody's block just to show off and you're just being that person. You're like, beep, beep, tooting your horn in your car, like, Look at me. Look what I'm doing now. Some of you do might be doing that. Somebody sees it. Something good. Something amazing going on for you. And they're kind of, I feel like, because that moon can be kind of sneaky. They're kind of watching you. But you, you, I don't know, you know it. You know it's somebody watching you or somebody paying attention to something that you, whatever's going on in your life that you're indulging in and that you're, you know, really reaping re rewards from. Somebody's kind of watching and there it's very indirect though cuz the moon was sideways. So it was like very indirect. They're not really revealing themselves all too much, but I feel like you kind of know or you will know um that they're trying to like resurface or circle back. I'm hearing somebody's going to circle back. All right, tell me more about this. What else? Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? I really miss my purple lights. I'm so upset. I'm going to have to add a purple filter because right now, if I didn't add the purple filter, which as you're watching this, I probably did, but before I added it, it's like completely gray, dark, and gloomy. <laughs> All right, let me get over my aesthetic issues. Okay, you've got the King of Pentacles, so we do have a court card. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yeah, let me see. I feel like someone's watching you like, you know, Virgo, you're in like this sitting pretty kind of energy in June. You're not even focusing on anyone but your calling. Like that seems to be, look at your face. You're like, see my shiny new coins? Yeah, you you got some materialism stuff going on here in June. Okay, and that's all right, you know. Don't get too attached, but enjoy the fruits of your labor, Virgo. Let me see. New clothes, new car, new home. Um, you know, abundance, financial abundance is what I feel like is happening here. And it's just beginning in June. All right, show me what else does Virgo need to see. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like someone's like really on fire for you or it could be another earth sign like real passionate they're gonna come back in so they're kind of watching and then all of a sudden now the blue somebody's just gonna come back in now it could be an, another earth sign if that's not you um you know either way somebody's rushing back in it might even be um to give an apology too because the six of cups can be a card about apologies as well um 
sincerity, kindness, making some kind of, um, you know, being very nostalgic or giving a gift. And that Knight of Wands is just, I don't know, somebody wants to, little boom boom, little boom boom. Come in and get a little boom boom. Passion, excitement, fire. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know. I like your dress. I like your new shoes. You're looking mighty fine. I like your new car. Something just uh, like a lot of attraction in June. Okay. I could have Leo as well. Mm. Yeah, Virgo. I just, you know, I, I've just, listen, Virgo. I mean, it's sun. It's the sun. I mean, you're just going to be like out in the open, joyous, happy, and free. This is what I see for you. Joyous, happy, and free. It, like, you're just like, I don't care about anything or anyone anymore. I'm just doing me, and that's all I care about, you see? <laughs> Virgo Scott, you look at like a little happy song going on there. Didn't I sound like a Disney character singing there? I should apply for the job. All right, yeah, so Virgo's like, you're even putting it all out there. You're not, <laughs> like, I don't know. Virgos are generally pretty reserved, and we don't usually, like you know not all but most virgos are pretty reserved which virgos doesn't virgo doesn't unless they get leo in their chart somewhere virgo doesn't usually um expose themselves <laughs> you'll never catch a virgo walking down the street in a trench coat and nothing on like a flasher it's not usually a virgo thing um but i definitely feel like somebody sees you chasing your dreams and being very passionate uh, um, going after your your tangibles for sure and being very happy okay being very happy and and this is where you are especially you know for those of you who are cel or you know we're going into the summer season there's a lot more outgoing a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyment okay so oh, okay now we've got the nine of swords why is the nine of swords here Oh, okay. Some of you Virgos might be faking all of this extroversion as well. You might be really stressing inside about doing it. I don't know. I don't feel like maybe it's not fake. It's like you're pushing yourself to come out of your comfort zone. Some of you um, are pushing yourself to put yourself out there in June, for sure. Um, some of you might get invited to like a nude beach <laughs> and you're like i don't know if i could do this i don't know if i could do this i don't know if i want to do this i know some of you virgos are like no problem um i know some people here in the chat do don't like to wear pants so it's not going to be a problem but i feel like in the overall message is you're going against the green to become less introverted come out if you're an introvert especially or if you've just been in hermit mode you're kind of pushing yourself out there to live your life and be happy and enjoy and smile again or just have joyous happiness again um and you know what virgo i just want to congratulate you if you take those steps to like you know not stress at night and try to think positively because this is night and day you know you might have nights where you know your anxiety gets the best of you but then during the day you you find ways to be happy you know nighttime might be a little hard for you so i don't know maybe get into like a happy show or you know nighttime is when you lay there and then some, that's when you do your thinking you think and stinking or you're on your phone put your phone down you know read a book find a really good happy book try to quiet your mind i feel during the nights but I feel you I feel like mostly it's you're coming into this joyous period of your life and maybe you're so used to your anxieties and your, the conflict in your mind or the struggle um, uh, how can I say this maybe you're just you've gotten so used to being in that energy that to come out of that energy um, is a big step for you you have spent a lot of time alone maybe you've been alone you know <coughs> so Maybe you're not faking it. Maybe you're just trying to fake it till you make it and trying to really appreciate yourself. Those self-indulgences, you know, um, Virgos can be very reserved 
and sometimes kind of miserly. Virgos don't like to overspend, or if they do, then later they're kind of like, ugh, I'm kicking myself for spending a little too much, some Virgos. So, you know, but this, it looks like you're self-indulging here, and you're getting some good, positive, you know, material um, items or things, wishes coming true in June, and you're kind of, maybe you're showing it off a little. I don't know if you're kind of stressed. Virgo, it's all right. You can do it. Show yourself off a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, when I got my, when I got my silver play button for my other channel, they sent me, you know, the button, the plaque and everything. It took me so long <laughs> before I could finally show everyone on YouTube because it, somebody said to me, um, no, you should show it. You should show it off. And I was like, no, I feel like that's so vain for me to like just show that off, you know, like I didn't want to, but um, they were like, well, you know, you deserved it. You earned it. So you should share it with other people. And it took me a really long time to put that out there and just say, I didn't even really put it out there. I kind of put it out there. <laughs> like, it was just like a little, it took me a really long time to be like, oh, it's okay to do that. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if that's a Virgo trait necessarily. I know that's, for me, it was like that. It's not like I didn't feel like I deserved it, but I worked really hard and I earned it. <laughs> and like, I guess I felt like if I was trying to, work really hard to impress other people, then that would have been me showing it off and saying, hey, look what I did. Aren't you guys, you know, impressed? But I wasn't. I was just working really hard because I love what I do. And I, I didn't feel like I wanted to impress anybody with it. Do you know what I mean? So it was a struggle and a stress to receive gifts and things that, you know, you work really hard for and then to just, I don't know, does it make any sense? Maybe I need a psychiatrist. I don't know. That's kind of how I felt. <laughs> and I feel like for you, Virgo, it's like self-indulging and appreciating yourself during the month of June is super, super important because no one else's opinion of you matters other than your own. And even then, sometimes you need to shut the hell up to yourself because sometimes you can have negative thinking about yourself. All right, let me see. I just went off on a tangent there. Okay, let me see. Hello? All right. All right, yeah, you're bossing up. Virgo, listen. <laughs> I mean, you're bossing up. You're doing, s look, if you don't feel like you're doing good right now, trust me, June is going to start really, you'll feel it. You know, it's, it's a huge task. I don't know what you went through in the past or what you dealt with, but... For some of you, there is this rebuilding of your life energy going on. And for some of you, you're really on this journey, you know, and you're letting things go, seeking support from other people, trying to get help to just kind of, I feel like you're trying to get back to baseline. You might have been like underneath, kind of like feeling suppressed or oppressed in some way, maybe by someone's deception uh, maybe you were connecting with an Aries or like I said water sign here cancer Scorpio Pisces um, Maybe some of you felt like you weren't good enough for that person, you know um, Could have been a father and a brother There was some stress about a father and a brother as well Or someone might have been like a father to your children or the other parent you're co-parenting and you're really trying to get yourself back um, maybe you went through a divorce, like I said, some kind of judgment of some sort, like a, like a final judgment or divorce and trying to, you know, be happy again, you know, uh, you might still be dealing with the parent if you have, you know, young children or if you had a business with them or something. Um, there's, look, the only negative card here in this reading is the nine of swords. It's not the 10 of swords. So it's not like complete and painful breakdown. This is just having some nights where it's a struggle. Okay, let me see. So I wanna see what's going on with the Emperor and the King of Cups. Okay, so the Emperor sits here willing to make some kind of compromise with you, okay? Um, it's ready to make some kind of decision. Show me this King of Cups. Oh boy. 
Okay. Some of you, um, you're ready to find someone who is going to come through for you in love. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like now, you know, well, at least in June, you're at this place now where you're going to make this final decision that you're ready to take those steps. Um, oh, the Mets are beating the Phillies. That's not good. You're going to take these steps to, um, you know, make that decision and make the final steps to put yourself out there and actually meet someone. Okay, or make yourself available to meet someone in June. You, I see you doing that here. You're looking for um, the emperor or, or the empress, someone who's very, who's like mature, you know, um, someone who can pull through, come through for you, has your back. Someone who's uh, takes a leadership position. They're above board. They don't lie. They're not deceptive. They don't wear a mask. You know, they're there. They, this is someone that can sit with you and talk, you know, and and someone that you can do things with and be happy with. But you do have this King of Cups over here, who. Um, Uh, they just told me all fairs and all's fair in love and war. This King of Cups uh, kind of thought processes. I don't know what that means. S thinks all all's fair in love and war. So what the hell does that mean? There might be um, some kind of breakup or some kind of breakup. Let me see. Hmm. I mean, I also feel like there's a win-win solution, too. What does that mean? There's like fairness in some kind of... Um, if you were involved with a King of Cups, Queen of Cups, this King of Cups wants to bring fairness and equality and have some kind of... I feel like it's two storylines. Whether you were involved with this person or not, all right, here, here's how it's going to go. I feel like for you, Virgo... When it comes to you, you're basically like in this position where you're getting yourself prepared um, to find a to find a partner for life, right? A life partner, find a companion, someone that is going to be there for you. You're all, some of you are also um, not going to let a father, I hear, um, dictate how you're going to live your life. I know some of you in your 60s, you're like, my father's 95, that's not happening, or whatever. That's not for all of you, that message. It's just some of you. It's either a father, your father, um, or a parent, co-parent, or father figure, something like that, um, that you might just kind of block out and say, I'm going to do this on my own. I don't need your financial help or any kind of help. But now, this King of Cups is showing up here with justice and the lovers. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be some truth coming out also from this King of Cups. It could be on the cusp also of, um, I'm going to say October 20th or 21st. So it's going to be someone who's kind of like a Libra Scorpio, could be. How It could also be a Gemini or Libra, but the King of Cups shows up mostly as a water sign. So that's how this person comes in. They might have Gemini or, or they might have air in their chart somewhere. Either way, I feel like there's going to be some truth that's going to come out about um, th their deep feelings for you. Okay. Now, I don't know if this, this could be someone from the past. It could be that person who's kind of watching you and is trying to, I don't know, is going to try to come in because of... I'm hearing status, something to do with your status changing. Now, I don't know if that's status where you meet someone. You could be meeting an emperor-like individual going forward, and there's a decision to actually connect and get and date this person or get in some kind of relationship with them. could be an Aries. Um, but that also is seen. Hmm. But I'm not seeing jealousy or anything here. So status could be your financial status. They see the improvement in that or, you know, your uh, your aesthetic status improves or you're dating somebody. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Is that competition? Why? Oh, I just want to know why is this King of Cups? 
You know, we used to have the King of Swords all the time. Now we get the King of Cups. Oh, okay. Yeah, you kind of become this person's fantasy in June. <laughs> um, this person who they see you as like either ghosting or being unattainable. Um, everybody wants the, you know, the cup that... Every, like, if I know, like if you have three doors and you know what's behind door number one and door number three, um, then you just get to choose which one you like better. But when you don't know what's behind door number two, that's a little bit intriguing. Okay, your door number two, Virgo. Um, because you have your door shut. And maybe you just have like a little peephole keyhole that this person is looking through and they can kind of see, but they can't. So this person is very intrigued. This King of Cups is very intrigued with you. With what they don't know, you know? <laughs> it's like um, left to their imagination. And um, let me see. I want to see why the Lovers and Justice is here. Uh, they just keep giving me like uh, all's fair in love and war, but they also keep giving me like this truth. Here's the Knight of Swords in the reverse. What? Oh, that came out yesterday in the reverse. So that's a card of like cruelty. Oh, okay. They just said this King of Cups. Um, um, they th they think it's cruel that you're not sh that they can't see what's going on with you. What the hell does that even mean? Virgo, what does that mean? They want to know. This this King Cups wants to know what the heck you're doing. What's going on with you? Very curious. Look, King of Swords. Oh my gosh, they might have somebody kind of like um, having somebody watch you or spy on you in some way. This King of Swords talking to you to try to get information on you or maybe it's the king of swords as well i don't know virgo i just feel like there's this the unknown and um they might be doing things not necessarily cruel they could be um they could be doing like these deliberate acts to try to get more information on you who is this person some of you are going to go back to an ex as well that you had a that was a co-parent some of you might actually be thinking about or there might or your ex is coming back to you like a co-parent and this is somebody else there's so much confusion but either way i'm going to skip all these double people what i'm going to tell you right now is that i do see you being ready and willing in june to make a decision to Put yourself in the path of love okay for sure to meet someone okay and i feel like you're gonna but you also have another person here who is very curious they're all up in their like dreams their imagination their fantasy about you and i see them um i don't i see them coming towards you at first very slowly but then i see them being very very random i don't know this person this is very conflicting down here with this king of cups this with the lovers okay maybe there was a marriage or a relationship that broke up and this person does not know what's going on with you and there's some like acts of cruelty towards you um whatever they may be aggressive or passive type acts of cruelty towards you Okay, I don't know. This reading's all screwed up. It's all it, like a whole, whenever there's a bunch of court cards that show up, then it gets messy. And then I know we lose track of the story, and so then we're just in here talking about I don't know food in the chat, which is all you guys ever talk about in the chat is food. I pop in and I'm like, tacos, sushi, what the heck's going on? Pizza? Okay, let me see. Um, one more card for this King of Cups because I feel like this King of Cups is like Jones in to find out what you're doing or what's going on with you or it Jones in to find out if you're in connected with somebody else. I don't feel like they're happy about that. And I don't know why. I don't know if they were the one being deceptive or if there was too much deception in a relationship. I don't know why they would be unhappy. Let me see. One more card here for this King of Cups. Okay. Well. Oh boy. 
you know, Virgo, your readings, like, they're hard to do. You know why? Because I feel like, um, you know, this five of, five of Pentacles showed up in the reverse, which means hope returns. This person is hoping you will return, but they know that you're probably not gonna, or at least they think. They don't know. They think that you might not, and that this is going to just be a, a struggle um, that they're going to have to get over. And it's difficult to do your reading sometimes, Virgo, because you get yourself into some relationships with these people. And I'm picking up the energy and I'm like, why can't Virgo have less drama? Virgo's like the least dramatic sign there is. But Virgo, like, your readings always have so much drama. I don't know who the heck you've been connecting with or what's going on in your life. But this person is struggling hard. Broke, busting, and disgusted with this Five of Pentacles. You know, I mean, this is like a struggle love here that's what this is to me and this person like i always feel like this is my struggle love card where two people are just like there's no faith in this relationship you know in this connection here now outside of the church it's cold it's trying to get inside it's nice and warm but they're stuck outside nobody's letting them in some of you like whoever your person was like you're just leaving the milk outside and you're just like you can't come in just drink the milk on the step you can't come in. I'll just give you some of this, but don't be trying to come in the house and warm by the fire. Some of you just kind of have that energy. And this person is out there in the cold. And they want to know what life is like for you. Because they see that you're, you know, like, I feel like this is also a very codependent kind of thing. So I feel like whoever this person is, just, you know, they were worse off than you were, Virgo. You may not even realize it. You may not even realize. This feels like a past person. So, you know, are they going to try to come in? I mean, yeah, I did see that right there in the beginning. Um, this is also someone who's broke, too. And they lean on other people for financial support, you know? Because they live up in la-la land with their fantasies and their dreams, hopes, and wishes. But maybe they never even had a job. You know, like consistent pay consistent work couldn't keep a job couldn't get a job i don't know what the situ situation was um this person may also have a tendency i don't know to, to marry for what they say is love but maybe money Ooh, rough going rough going situation all right let me just get a couple of extra cards for oh virgo's future so you have the ace of swords okay victory virgo victory is coming to you I do feel like you're going to connect with someone or at least open yourself up to like give someone a chance in June. Okay. And this may not be someone that you would normally give a chance to, but I feel like maybe you're too picky in the past. I don't feel like you're, you're going to be so picky anymore. I think now it's just about finding someone who, you know, has a good soul. They have good intentions, full of integrity, and they don't lie. There's no deception. They're open and honest, above board. They tr tell the truth about things. And um, you can you can tell this person by their fruits. You know what I mean? Like a good tree is going to produce good fruit, and a bad tree is going to produce bad fruit. You'll be able to tell that about this person. That's what you're looking for. You know, it's not so much the, uh, the aesthetics, you know, if they are perfect on the out. It's like I said the other day, you know, you come into somebody's kitchen and it's like spick and span clean. But as soon as you open their cabinet, like it's a freaking mess inside that cabinet. And there's no organization and there. It's just everything was shoved in there. You know, uh, Virgo, Virgo's like, all right, I see your kitchen's clean, but I need to look in these cabinets and see like... Because you can present well all you want. You can you can look good. You can have a great car. You can live in a, a luxury home. You can have all the best high society friends. You know, you could be in the best shape of your life. Um, but, you know, if you don't ever clean your damn toilet, I mean, you're a slob. <laughs> you're a pig. <laughs> you got shit stains all over your toilet. Like, you're disgusting. Ew. Like, you can't keep your inside clean, so your outside's, like, gross. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> you go into, like, someone's house, and, like, their house is nice, and you go in their bathroom, and, like, toilet seat, like, don't even go in that bathroom. It's disgusting. 
So I feel like you're kind of like checking the inside now. <laughs> you want to know what people are about on the inside, not what they present. You know, yeah, the presentation is, that's good. Okay, tick that box. But now I want to get to know you a little better and see like what's on the inside. So that's what you're doing, cutting through all the moss, cutting through all the BS, the fog, getting clarity. You're going to have the ability to do that. You're carrying that sword, you know. All right. What else is coming for Virgo in June? Okay. Wow. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like mostly, Virgo, this is all about your finances, really. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't feel like you're really focused too much on love. You know, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, you know, it will eventually. I don't feel like you're giving up, but I don't feel like you're chasing it. I, I think in June, for some of you, you are truly focusing on your total gains um, and your wealth and your abundance, placing your roots somewhere. Um, some of you could be thinking about wanting, maybe you should have a baby or not, you know, depending on your age. Or you might want to adopt, or you might be thinking about um, surrogacy, you know, um, to start building a family. And I feel like you might take that on in June. If you don't actually do it, you might start the process, you know, of looking at your options, looking to see some of you for the ladies, like, you know, how many eggs do I got left? Can I spare any of these? You know, you're definitely going to be doing that. Um, and the pentacles can represent money. They're tangible things that produce growth. You know, Virgo? So I feel like that's, like, it's all about you. I really do. It's it's really all about you. It's about your investments and your income. And, and, and that there, it's like I said, <clears throat> what you put your attention to, what, you're, what you put your focus and energy into will produce the most results. So you have a choice. What are you going to and what are you willing to put your attention, energy, and focus into? And don't even tell me I can't. I just don't have the motivation. Let me tell you what. Motivation is a myth. <laughs> motivation, like you have to chase motivation. We're often not motivated to do anything. The reason why people are successful is not because of motivation. It's because they're self-disciplined. And they know that even when they don't feel like doing it, they do it anyway. You know, like, for example, I was sick all day today and last night, well, yesterday. And honestly, today, I did not feel like doing a reading. I didn't. I would rather just lay in my bed and <laughs> watch TV. And I didn't even feel like going to the gym today or do anything. I wanted to just recover. But I told myself, you know what? I'm building this channel. And I have to do it because I have to do it. And I want to stick to it. And that's just the self-discipline. So like if you are kind of like, well, I'm not motivated to go to the gym. Or I'm, you know, I, I'm just so tired. Or I don't feel like going to work. You know, or, you know, you go to work because you got to pay your bills. But, I mean, the things that you don't get the immediate rewards from, you know, you'll never get the rewards if you don't discipline yourself. And that's all. Because some days, you're not going to feel motivated. Some days, you will. Some days, it's like, raring to go. I could, like, you know, I could run, instead of one mile, two miles, I can do five today. You know, and other days, it's like, you can't even get 30 feet. You don't even want to get your feet out of the bed, you know, but you do it anyway. So I feel like for you, Virgo, if you keep that mindset here, whatever you are thinking that you only have seven of, um, if you just keep investing into this pile here, you're going to build your wealth. You're going to build your success and reach your gains, whatever you're trying to achieve to go from the seven to the ten. And, you know, love, past, future, present, it is what it is. If there's no future in your life right now and there's no past in your life right now and it's just you, then you're the most important person. That's all you have to worry about. Of course, if you have children or family and stuff like that, of course, that too. Let me see what your Moon Pie Tarot messages are. Okay, so some of you are learning a new skill, definitely. What's this? Oh, I have a couple of, what are these here for? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's just truth. Then I'm talking about you. Here's the Hermit and that clarity, Ace of Swords. Yep, you'll get clarity. Some of you have been in your little, like, 
hermit mode, doing some soul searching, reflection, searching yourself, trying to introspect. And here, boom, this is always my light bulb card. Boom, you get your answers, what you need to do. And what you need to do is focus on yourself, okay? Material gift, like I said, is coming for you. Money, 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 money. Or some kind of material things, okay? Some of you um, are going to activate your highly logical selves, highly logical male. If you're a male, um, you're going to focus on, you know, being more logical and practical in your life and decisions that you're making going forward, putting in the effort, okay? For some of you, it's kind of like engaging your reasoning, especially for the males, Okay, some of you, I do feel like are going to take up a new skill at your job or try to learn a new trade or something like that that's going to require logic, not necessarily smarts <laughs> or not necessarily physical activity, more activating the brain, um, logic and reasoning. Okay, some type of employment or position or a skill you're going to lear learn or put in effort um, so that you can increase your pay or and increase um, your wealth as well. Okay, so maybe you're going to go to school or maybe you're going to team up with someone in a business, um, taking on a more logical, you know, when I say logical, I mean someone who um, is more strategic, like activate more strategic thinking. You know, I always like to say, work smart, not hard. You'll get paid more. <laughs> okay, boom. Lightning, stri lightning strikes. There's a tower moment here that's happening that sends a ripple effect into your life. Things may seem to be in chaos, or maybe they have been, but it's all for the good because after every storm, comes the washing away stand firmly on the ground and and just trust the process and know whatever you're going through is all for the good you also have a sweet text message coming in from someone okay after some kind of an argument or a separation maybe an apology that's always my um page of cups card here okay a little bit of messages for love I know this was a love reading, but this was more like a not about love reading. Sometimes we need that, right? Because we got the everyday stuff going on in life. Okay. Put away the computer. Working less will help, help strengthen a relationship. All right, I don't know who that's for. If you're in a relationship with someone... Oh, I'm just hearing like, go do things, go do more things together if you're already involved. And there's a mutual attraction with someone. And I feel like this is for those of you. Um, and so this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a relationship you have with your kids or your friends, um, that there's an attraction to each other. You enjoy to be together, um, get off the computer and spend more time, especially at the beginning of the June to get out there and start doing more activities and having more fun with people like in the real world. Okay, people that you enjoy being with. If you haven't been that person, if you have been that person, keep being that person. Okay. Yep, and you do have an apology coming in. Um, you can expect the apology that you want to hear, if you want to hear one. Okay. Now let's take a look and see Chinese signs. Okay, we've got Year of the Monkey, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Dog, Year of the Monkey again, Year of the Ox, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Dog again. Okay, we've got Year of the Snake twice, Year of the Rooster, and Year of the Horse. Okay, that could be you, could be the other person. Um, could be both of you, none of you. Uh, take it as it resonates. Doesn't mean it's not for you if your Chinese sign didn't show up. Okay. All right. Let's get into your names and randoms. And yesterday I gave a very strong political prediction. Um, so if you missed that, it's at the end of yesterday's reading. And uh, hopefully that's not going to happen tonight. I really miss my purple lights. I'm so upset. 
I can't believe they didn't show up. They didn't, they could, must have broke. I gotta get a new one tomorrow. I'm so upset. I love my purple lights. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this part short here. Okay. All right, I'm definitely seeing some kind of outdoor family event coming up in June. Now it could be around June 10th. Um, could be somebody's birthday or some a child's birthday. Maybe there's a child named Joey or Joseph as well. Um, or like an adult family event, party, family, somebody's birthday party. Or some kind of, maybe it's a family reunion or a picnic of some sort. Okay. All right. Okay, I was just seeing a young male in his 20s. Um, and he likes to fish. He likes to go fishing. I don't know if that's someone that you know, but I'm just seeing. He likes to fish. Maybe his, he could be in his late teens, early 20s. Okay, I'm also seeing someone. Um, now, this is someone who is either Hispanic or Asian, and they're reading the Bible. <laughs> okay, someone is um, becoming a born-again Christian, or maybe they're reading the Quran. They're, be they're, they're either becoming religious or they're changing a religion. Okay. Um, All right, I'm also seeing a hospital in Greece or in a or or a Greece Greek it's a Greek looking building. At first I was seeing a hospital, but I'm seeing like a Greek you know, it's like Grecian decor, right? It's like all white with the stone pillars and all. Very beautiful. Um, that might be a building that you see. There's like a counselor or a therapist or a, someone in a hospital or they either work there. Um, it's kind of like an old looking building, but it's very sterile looking. I guess that's what I'm trying to say when I see, when I say like a Grecian, Greek kind of building. Like if you go to Greece, it's very white and colorful, blue and very, very sterile and clean. I'm seeing that. Um, oh, and I'm also seeing, okay, that's so strange. So let me just say that we have the letter S. Um, I'm picking up Christine or Chris, Christopher, and I'm also seeing um, the, the Buckingham Palace restoration on Buckingham Palace. So there's going to be like scaffolding. I don't know. Is that going to be in June? Maybe they're remodeling. I don't know. I'm seeing that. Doing some, res so they're scaffolding and re- Reconst re what's the word? Like some kind of remodeling of some sort. Okay. Okay. So then they're also giving me someone. Oh, I'm picking up also the letter P. And they're also giving me um, someone standing by a river and. I don't know, this, this river is going really, really fast. This is not um, the typical speed for this particular river. It almost looks like it's like rushing water. I feel like I said that yesterday too, something about rushing water or someone being overcome with water. There's a lot of emotion and I feel like there's some sadness. There's also forgiveness as well and... and um, turning around and seeing the blessing seeing hidden blessings okay so somebody's spending t spending time out by the water or sitting by a river bank and doing a lot of like meditating and thinking about things okay all right and there's also an energy of um someone who works or is a performance artist or does something like with a circus or a show, one of those like circus shows or things like that. Um, some kind of performance art. It could be juggling or ballet or acrobat acro acrobatics of some sort. Some kind of juggling. I don't know. I keep looking back at this this energy here. Virgo, just watch out for um, June. 
or someone um, someone really trying to um, trying to come in and be fair about something with you okay trying to come in and be fair and I don't know what exactly that means but um, I do feel like someone is is they're trying to be fair so they can find out what's going on with you it's very strange so I will tell you it's it's either a Gemini or a Libra or a Cancer a Pisces or a Scorpio okay that's the energy I'm picking up with that all right Sagittarius Sagittarius Aries and a Capricorn showing up here it's getting dark Pisces, Taurus, Sagittarius, Gemini. That's Sagittarius three times, you guys. Sagittarius again, Gemini again, twice, and Taurus. Okay. September 9th, September 10th, September 2nd, September 1st, and the 7th, the 8th, the 17th, the 16th, and the 18th. Also the 12th. Um, and I'm seeing... Um, one seven two nine and i'm also seeing nine zero zero one oh nine zero zero eight one or nine zero zero one eight okay you can flip that around however you like um i'm gonna end those there and i'm just gonna do the charms because i'm running out of light I should probably do these during the day okay let me see oh I've never had that before. Okay, hold on. Okay, you've got two. Gosh, I hope you'll be able to see them. You have Pegasus. I'll just put it right here. You have Pegasus, you guys. I have never gotten Pegasus before. Can you see it? Kinda, sorta. Yeah, you've got Pegasus. So isn't that like a... Pegasus is a uh, constellation, isn't it? Don't know the story about Pegasus. Maybe I should learn it. But um, I don't know. If you know anything about Pegasus or if you recently read something about it or you know the story about Pegasus, uh, some kind of flying horse thing. Almost looks like a unicorn. Yeah, something to do with Pegasus. I'm sorry, I don't know anything really about that. I'm going to read about it when I get done with this reading, though, because I kind of remember. And you also have um, the Eiffel Tower. So if somebody has a connection to the Eiffel Tower or France. Maybe you are from France. Maybe you are from France or you have a connection with someone from there or you're planning a trip to France this year. Maybe you've recently come back from France. Um, you also have a connection to um, oil fields okay wherever there's like oil fields I'm trying to hold this up so you can see it uh, I just I don't know why that reminds me of oil fields um, I don't know maybe you're part of some kind of like um, save the oceans stop the oil spills or something like that to, or you have family that have some kind of connection to oil fields or oil drilling or something along those lines oh gosh I can't pick that up so I'm gonna leave it there <laughs> yeah that's the message I've gotten for today you guys I know it's a little subdued but um, looks good for you in the June uh, on the June front for money and wealth and abundance so not so much love more so much just about you and your personal growths. So I hope that you guys have a very happy day and you make great choices going forward and I will see you all back here tomorrow. And real quick, thank you to all the moderators for all the work you do. Yay! And um, thank you everyone for being in the chat, for subscribing. And yeah, I'll see you back here tomorrow.